G'day, how you going? This is Ian Atlas, your acrylic guru here from Australia. And we're gonna get on with another beautiful tutorial today for you beginners out there. And the size of the canvas I'm using just went up on the screen there like that for those people who wanna know what the measurements of the canvas board I'm using. And there's the colors that I'm using in this video as well today, all right? So, now, first off, with these clouds, the way I paint clouds, it's a matter of conditioning the canvas before we do it. Because we're using acrylics, I don't like to have a dry surface. Uh, some beginners may find it hard to do dry blending. Um, I find this method quite achievable once you have all the products, or the ingredients, let's so to speak. And then I'm here to show you the method on how to make it happen all right so come on down here and we'll put some colors and mediums onto our palette here now this is just going to be something out of my head a real it, it would be great if i had a reference picture so as i know what i'm painting but i'm just going to do this out of my head so let's i'm going to start off with the clear it's clear retarder this one there's a white one and a clear one this is for acrylic paint and it slows down the drying time so it's a clear medium retarder now we also want to use some flowing white paint it's a student paint in your art shop it doesn't have to be this brand i've had people messaging me where can i get that brand from what brand are you using um just any student quality paint that comes in a big tub you know that they use at schools or um, poster paint anything like that will do okay so that's to prep the canvas up and then we're obviously going to have our white paint which is titanium white for the actual cloud colors and some sky color which I've got phalo blue so we're gonna have phalo blue but hang on a minute this isn't gonna be a blue sky sorry this is going to be a sunsetty sky, so I'm going to look for some yellow. I've got a yellow here, and I've got a, I've got some. It's virtually an orange, but this one is actually called red gold. But orange will do if you have an orange. If you don't have an orange, you can mix it up. I might try some cridacridone magenta to get some orange going as well. That'll be a red colour. And what else have we got? So we've got yellow, orange, that's pretty much it. And then we can probably put some blue at the end to create a darker purple colour. This is just what's going in my head. Jeez, I tell you what, I need some more paints. They're looking very empty. Alright, so we'll get these on the board and some brushes. Now I've got my brushes ready. I've got, I'm going to use this one for applying the paint onto the canvas. And I've got all my blending brushes lined up in a row. So for different coloured clouds, sorry, different size clouds, I've got different size blending brushes to blend those clouds. Okay, so they're all ready to rock and roll as well. All right, I've got some Indian yellow here. I don't use this much, so I'm going to use that to give the canvas its base colour. Normally I'm using the flow white, so I've got my Indian yellow. And we'll grab some retard. I've just put a pile down there like that. Now this one is not canvas paper, it's canvas cloth glued to a board. So I want to give that a light mist of water, just a light mist of water so the paint's gonna transfer off me brush and flow across that a lot easier than just dragging all right so now i've got me brush i'm getting the retarder in there and i want to mix this retarder onto my applying brush all right now let's if this paint is too thick i might have to water it down see how we go but i want a lot of retarder in this because this is the base color and we'll get our see how that went on it came off the brush it's acrylic paint and it's very wet it came off the brush quite well pull it across let's just do the whole board let's see what happens i don't even know if i'm going to have a horizon line in this or a foreground it's just going to be those 
sunlit, sunsetting clouds. All right, now do get your strokes pulled out of it. And I want to wash this brush. Now I've got a kitchen sponge here. I thought I'll use this. So I want to have that damp, not soaking wet, just damp, all right? It's a fine poured sponge. It's not a heavy sponge. Do I have one here to show you? No. Now our white, I'm gonna go from white, we've got the yellow, and then we'll go from red and it'll turn into different colors. So we'll grab our white. Now I'm gonna try, have I put any retarder with that one yet? No, I haven't. So I've got my flowing white. Let's see how this goes. On the corner of me sponge there, with the retarder in there, picking up the retarder. Now, as I said, I don't know what we're gonna paint. I'm, what should I do? I'll do it over one side, okay? So I wanna start, oh, oh no, bugger it, I wanna do it in the, here. So I wanna bring this around and create a light area roughly where my sun will be because we've got to try and get some clouds over this see that's made it a very light yellow now I'm going to blend it out into there softly with this sponge and now I've got a pouncer we all know what a pouncer is it's a round sponge on a stick all right here's our pouncer now we want to get the good quality titanium white Pick that up. Now our sponge, we want to turn around, pick up some of this, go in the middle there and get some of this on there. Okay, I've got to put a bit of water with that. Get your pouncer loaded up. Don't have the paint too watery, but just moisten it a bit so it's got transferabilities with it. Transferabilities is to move. Now we'll start in the middle there where our sun is setting and we've got to get this and dance around a circle like that. That sponge has pulled up all that Indian yellow for me to dance this into, okay? Here we go, I'm happy with that. Now, I wanna leave that soft, I don't want it too hard. Now I'm gonna grab some of the Cronacridone Magenta, we'll get that over here somewhere. All right, and we'll grab some Retarder, because we want all this to blend. These are all different sky colors. I better wash this first, never leave your sponge like that. Okay, I'll try this big brush I was using. I wanna get some of that in there. Let's see what this is going to do. I want to dance some of this into me yellow. Not killing that. I want to sort of come into there. So I want to put a bit on. Let's just say like that. Put that brush down. Grab one of my blending ones now. And a rag. Remember. Now let's see if this is going to give us some beautiful colours in the sky. Yes, look at that. It's blending to an orange orangey red we'll bring that into the white a little bit we're just making this up as we go i'm just showing you the method i'm just making this up as i go i don't know how it's going to turn out but if it's too strong you watch i'll just pick up some the white on me finger there any old way oh it's a bit strong weaken it weaken it so i'll just put some of the flowing white paint there and that's weakened that very because this is just going to put our colors into the sky ready for some sunlit sun setting clouds okay and then our blue around the edge will give it a beautiful darkness i want to try and do all this in real time for you so there's a bit there oh and watch this if you think oh that's a bit plain put a bit of dark back in there wipe your blending brush and blend that through okay let's just darken that up a bit now let's get a bit more uh, <coughs> i'm just see i'm just spider 
footprint spider web finger ring stabber knit on just like that wipe your blending brush and softly tap tap and twist and see all this the way it's coming in front there that that does all the magic with this acrylic it's beautiful sometimes you make magic happen from your brush and you can just leave it <laughs> i've done quite a few good paintings and the the good bits about them happen by accident see how that now you can use a good red find out what red it is i'm just using that cordacridone magenta and look at that it's up to you how wiggly and windy and blendy you get it okay i'm picking up some more of that i want to get some down here maybe just sort of in front a little bit pick it up i'm stamping this on i'm not doing this as my blending my blending brush is doing all the blending and we want to carefully mist that in front of that sun that we got we don't want that sun really hard we want it blurry and soft because it's quite a distance away and you want it to sort of have the aspect of some realism in there get that over there now you could have used red crimson red whatever color you want I've just picked up this cradacridone because it's what I've got up and I better put a bit more over here just to come here all right blending my wiping my blending brush with the corner tap tap and twist and let the magic happen now this is the sky colors this is all the sun hitting everywhere and we're going to put our clouds on there because i remember when i first started doing colorful sunset clouds i was trying to paint the colors in the clouds and i just didn't know and over the years I've learnt and learnt and studied and learnt and painted and practiced and now I can show you what I was missing out on all right this is all still wet you don't want to go drying anything okay I've got some phalo blue and some retarda I'm gonna mix that together on me applicating brush applying brush the any brush you can use you don't have to have one exactly what I'm using but something that works good for you applying and we'll want to sort of I'm gonna do a bit at a time because I want this to mix with the red grab my blending brush and now I know some of you are gonna go oh but it's gonna turn green but once I get the purple into it there we go just a bit there and I want maybe a bit there blend 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 I'm gonna have some dark in front of the Sun All right. I'm just sort of mirroring it down here just in case we turn this to water. I really don't know what this is turning into yet. Now we're going to get our dioxine purple. Now I've got our dioxine. Let's get right to the edge here. Get there and spider that into that blue that went green. Let's see what happens there just to give us some dark <clears throat> oh yeah the purples happening and I might be able to splash a bit of white in that just to get a bit over here Okay, now I would want to get some, I'm just gonna pick up a fan brush and grab some of the white. And I wanna 
this is just the flow white. I'm picking up another blending brush because that one's very dirty and this will lighten that now. Everything is still wet and retarded and we're creating some sort of sky. Uh, I don't know what it's going to turn out like but colourful clouds are made up from the background in my view when you okay there's that bit and we'll just quickly do this side just to lighten some of that it's a bit too harsh blending it see I'm just twisting and blending it into all those darker colours there just lightening it up make it probably that's starting to look like a stormy sky up there now you see there we go now I want to get some more light in here because it's missing a lot down here down here see I've just stamped that on this is the bottom we don't know what's happening here but something's going to happen who knows get all that up there these blending brushes are nice and soft and firm at the same time okay how are we looking there now we're ready for some clouds okay this is just a um, simple background for some beautiful clouds all right we have our blended background it's still wet and retarded now we're going to pick up just the plain good titanium white out of your tube the artist quality paint that you're going to the paint you would put in your painting as white. I don't use the flow white as a color in an actual painting. I just use it as a medium to get things happening in my painting. So we'll, we'll chisel this up onto a fan brush here and we'll lay some clouds in there. Can you see that? And I don't know if we're gonna have some sort of horizon line there. Uh, let's put something here. Give it a bit of a body these don't have to be too big down here i've stamped that on see and i might put another one there i'm going to grab a blending brush and i want to blend the bottom of that down into the sky here because to make this more like a proper picture I'm gonna have to put the water in it I think so this is all wet roughly from here I want to come down to my horizon line so what I what I'm gonna do is there's my horizon line there this is a nice firm brush <clears throat> Now I'll get him on his side and I'm going to sweep, just sweep all this left to right to get some sort of movement in it. And it's not too bad, but I feel it can probably do with a bit of water just to make it flow across that canvas board. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to pick up a bit of the colour. What do we need here? A bit of the magenta like that wipe that pulling brush and pull that let's not get too many now let's see here where our sun is we're making the water here i want to pull that glare that'll do don't play with it too much. There, we've got some water. Now the clouds are going to need some of the darker shadow in them as well. So I've mixed up some of the blue and the cradacridone magenta just to get some darker tone of the sky colour there. Now a cloud at a time, well, I just want to put a shadow on there well it's raining outside 
and I'm going to tap that into the white And then I'm going to, like I said before, I'm calling this the yummy effect, pick up your white again and just dance some yumminess back into that cloud there. We'll make this one more distinct there. Steve just walked into the studio. And I want to bring just this one down to the horizon line there. Just like that. All right, we'll pick up some more paint. Let's get another one in front of that. I want to kill the top of that now, so I'm going to bring this one over. And I'm not too happy with that purpley color I've just mixed up. Let's build a small cumulus cloud here. Put that down. Now I'm just blending that first, blending it, picking up those colors in the sky. Do the bottom over that, okay? Now, I'm going to grab, instead of that colour that I mixed up, I'm going to grab some of the Cridacridone Magenta. I'll light that up a little bit with some Flow White, just to create the shadow colour of those clouds up there. Yeah, the purple doesn't belong. This is the colour. Yeah, this is it. Now, this is the bottom of that cloud, stamped on top of that white one. I'm going to blend that into the white, find the bottom in front of that other cloud, grab your white and put your yumminess, sink the shadow tone and the white, get it all. Once you come bigger, they'll become a lot easier to do. All right, let's get something over that a bit more Draw in your cloud, paint it in, scratch it around, get the shape of it. This is just going to be a simple big one here. Okay. Now I want to blend that and keep the base of that cloud on. So we're picking up all the colours underneath, the sky colours, okay. Pull that in front of the sun maybe. Oh yeah, look at it, it's picking up. I want to put the base on this cloud now, it's got the base on it, soften the tops, and that's it, I don't have to put the shadow in here now, I want to pick up the white, and we're going to dance some yumminess in front of it, just like that, and then we'll sit that back down as well, okay let's get the bottom half of that yumminess blended down into the cloud leave the top sharp bit there and bring the bottom of it down tap it and blend it and you'll see you're creating some beautiful sunlit clouds here let's do something on the other side or maybe something way up high here first so we'll pick up the white Give it a base and it's going to come up up there that'll do and we'll blend see it's picking up the top colors now i'm blending the top up <laughs> wiping it now i want to get this brush on its edge to sort of keep the bottom there that's it, I'm loving that. Now I just wanna, less is best, I just wanna simply put some yumminess with the, getting the white again. Look at the cloud shape. Okay, I could see it sort of dancing out there. Look at your cloud shape, the bottom. Some bits over here. You just put your yumminess there and you're gonna blend in a way where you've kept some of that sharpness there you've just put on there okay 
You don't want to blend it all in. You want to leave some, it's like you've highlighted it. Now I've just grabbed some more titanium white out of the tube and I was just looking at my canvas from the corner of my eye and I'm just going to see if this will work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I've just got some dioxine purple still on there with the retarder in it because all this dark is a bit, I don't know. So I want to sort of <laughs> put some, you can use your finger for this. Don't have to dirty another brush because I want some different darkness behind these big top clouds. That's why I'm putting this here. All right. Now this is just showing you whatever background you got would work for your cloud colors as well. So I'm picking up some more white and I want to get that up in front of there like that. I want to come across that one if I can. Put that down, grab my blending brush. Hang on, let's get the shape of it first. The bottom is what I'm keeping here, so I want to keep it on that angle. That's it. Now I'm going to blend that up. Wipe your brush. How's that looking? I'm quite happy with that. Now I just want to wash that fan brush, wipe it and get some more white and start putting the yummy bits on there. If you don't wash it, you'll get contaminated paint everywhere. That'll do. Now let's blend the top half of that because we're keeping the bottom half sharp. Twist it a little bit, distort the edges. How's that look? That'll do. Okay, I've just put some stratus clouds in the distance there. I've stamped them on and I've blended the top of them up, leaving the bottom a bit hard on those ones, okay? The camera was off when I painted those and I thought it was on. Now we'll get some um, cumulus above those, keeping the bottom. So we're gonna keep our bottom That'll be blended. It's picking up the sky colours, they say. Okay. So we're going to leave the bottom of that. And this is going to create the clouds coming over your head. There's one there. It doesn't look like much at the moment. You think, oh my god, it hasn't it's it's in the fetus getting born. And we'll put another one here. That'll do. He's coming in front of the sun a little bit. Make sure you've got a good rag. And we're blending the tops of this, leaving the bottom nice and hard. You want it nice and hard. There we go, that's beautiful. Okay, now we'll put the clouds on top of those. So make it an effort to wash your brush you're putting your clouds on with, rinse it, dry it on the paper towel. Now we'll put some, we're going to make the, the front cloud now, so it's in front of that. So I'm making this one. There's one there for now. Let's get that one on. We'll blend that one. So I'm softening the tops, blending, leaving the bottom, leave the bottom. But we're leaving the top of this as well because this is the final cloud. Now we've got to put the bottom back and the yumminess. So We'll get the, keep the bottom there. And watch, you just blend the bottom up into the cloud and tickle that yumminess through. Now we'll do another one. I don't like the shape of that cloud. I'll do maybe something here. So I'm just going to squinch. Look at that. It's picking up all those sunset colors. I've got to keep the base in front of there and I'll dance across there like that. Simple. Leave the bottom. But if anything, you want that bottom straight, Ian. It wasn't quite straight. There we go. But don't 
cover too much of our sun at, at the same time. You want to try and remember what you're covering up and what you're not. Okay, wash that, rinse it, dab it dry on a paper towel, pick up some more white, and we're going to put this cloud in front of that one now. We're adding that yummy. Just soften that a bit. Okay, we've done that, but I've, I'm, I'm feeling the... Um, I'm just going to wipe that brush that I used to put the white on, pick up some of the cradacridone, that colour there, and we're going to have to put this back into that cloud because we've sort of lost it and it needs that shadow color at the bottom we'll blend that in keep the bottom of the cloud the bottom of the cloud is having the shadow color in there okay that's it because with the shadow color you can Put the that's what makes the yumminess turn yummy it's going over the actual watch the shadow color see and then you just sit that yumminess down sometimes I forget what I'm doing okay so we put the base on that cloud and we'll do the same over here as well with this one I've used a bit of the um, red gold there and use the fan brush to get our yumminess back there we go and we'll dance that down okay we've got some sun colored sunlit clouds in the sky and we've got all the colors there We've got a different variety. We've got some dark ones at the top and some lighter ones down here. And we've got our pretty much our water horizon line here. So what we can do is probably get some reflections. I'm picking up some of the dirty white. And see, we've got clouds here, so we can sort of um, create a mass. I'm stamping. This is all still wet, don't forget. I'm stamping it on and I'm just going to pull that through so I'll come from the edge let's hope it's still wet yeah it's just I'll get a bit more liney there there we go just to break up that dab 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 look so we've got some cloud reflections in the water and what have we got here we'll probably put a little bit there a bit at a time pull it through it's just making some cloud reflections in the water and maybe something here that'll do i'm not going to muck with it too much now i think what i will do just to finish it off i'm just going to pick up the indian yellow where's the bottom of this with it i want to get this on just very smallly and come into the water a bit like this this i just want to put a, a wash a wash look at the front of it i'm going to pick up the titanium white and lighten this up big blob there because i want it very light here and i'm just scissoring scraping brushing and blending that through the water there okay that'll do it eeny that'll do it now i want to grab my little scrumbling blending brush and we'll put a bit there as well okay i've got a small fan brush i've put some titanium white onto the board and we'll start over here and i'll just keep the front the bottom as tight as you can make this shape okay don't go too far do a bit at a time and like i've done before and we're going to tease the top of that back have a have a rag so you're picking up if there's too much excess onto your brush and we're going to sort of give that a a washed up watered look onto the front there and it's sort of gave in this painting some sort of 
life, you know, it was just sort of looking like too much of a demonstration. And we'll do a bit more, pick up some more. We'll come over here maybe. We'll do a bit out there first, just bang, bang, bang like that. See how easy that was? And then, I don't know if you can hear that rain. Keeping these horizontal, you're giving your painting a horizontal refreshment, it's great. And you're pulling that back into the water there. And we'll quickly stamp it on. So you're virtually coming down like that. And giving it that horizontal refreshment. If you feel there's not enough wash here, like there, you can just simply pick up your brush and make it happen. Okay. Yeah, so these little motions are just flicking backwards and forwards, on and off, and little wiggles. Okay. And you can look at it and think, oh, that's a bit starch there. I'm, I'm going to slowly blend that back into the water. We could probably make this a bit of a, a break out there if you want. Blend him down. Some sort of distant wave out there. Distant water break, some water behaviour. At least we haven't got a plain, boring demonstration. I'll just put a signature on this I suppose. Somewhere in this corner. Small as I can. What have we got there? How do you spell your name? Ian? Ian? And we'll put a frame on this, just to see how it looks. Alright, that's not too shabby. We've got a sun setting coloured lit clouds or sunlit clouds. That's what I wanted to get across in this tutorial today, okay? And we've picked up the actual colours we've put onto the canvas and we've just put a foreground water washing up here so it's it's not a realistic sunset, but it's giving you an idea how to pull these sort of clouds off. I hope you were able to learn something from this beginner's exercise today. Be sure to share, like and subscribe to my channel. And there's some links in the description below that will take you to my Facebook page or my Patreons page. You can jump on board there and message me and all sorts of things, okay? And if you like what I've done, make sure you tell your friends and subscribe. But if you don't, you tell everybody, all right? All the best, goodbye, good luck, and good on ya!